Josie, commiserations on the results. Did you feel like the team maybe deserved a little bit more out of today's game? Yeah, I think um, it was a quite balanced game. No chances for any team. Um, we, we were better in some moments of the game. Um, but they didn't create chances to score. Uh, some of some of the the goals, it it was like um, they they use the mistakes that we did. Um, if we look to all the things that happened during the game, we, we can say that um, we were better in some points and we didn't deserve this result. If you look just to the result, um, maybe you imagine that oh, Sheffield dominate Reading and it wasn't. Uh, what happened? So, uh, but it's like this. Football is like that. We we must keep the focus in the, all, all our defensive tasks, and and use properly the the offensive situations that uh, we can create. So, um, we must learn with the mistakes that we did, and um, for sure next game will will be completely different. There was an incident early in the game before any goals when uh, Andy Adam had a shot and it was cleared off the line and it looked like he might hit their defender's arm. Did you have a view of that? I mean, I think uh, a lot of the fans felt it was a handball on the line. Yeah, a lot of things happen uh, regarding the third team on the pitch, but um, everybody that watch and can, can comment these actions, um, I want to put my focus in my team. Um, because after lose 3-1, if you start talking about the referee and the penalty that it, he didn't uh, signalize, you know, it looks like I'm trying to find excuses for the result, and I don't want to do this. Um, yeah, of course, of course, if if uh, if uh, in that moment he, 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 he gives the penalty for us, the game could be different. But uh, again, I said this before, and championship is a long, long, long. Uh, league, uh, we have no time to, to complain and to cry, just be, recover the players and prepare the, prepare the next match um, because, um, because we, we want to give to our fans uh, good things and not a game like we did today. There were some, as you say, positive signs. It was a very young team as well. I think the average age was just uh, just over 23 years old. So, got a lot of players who are, you know, got so a lot of potential, and hopefully they can just make get, make sure not too many errors. They've got to potentially have a very good seasons. A lot of them. Yeah, a lot of them. They 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 work with me last season, and they go on. They deserve it to start the game today. Um, more players that were on the bench, so um, I'm happy to work with them. Um, now it's recover and prepare the next game is, is our life uh, with ups and downs and, and the important thing is uh, keep the hope and the, the, the way that we, we have been working um, um, and my players they never give up to, to, to train hard and if we go on training like we, are, we have been training we will achieve to our goals in the end of the season. Lastly, Jose, we, we often mentioned it last season, uh, but the fans were from the you know from maybe 20, 30 minutes before kickoff were making loads of noise again today. You can tell they're really excited for this season, and I guess that may inspires you in some in some ways as well. Yeah, again, they have been fantastic with us, and uh, today they deserve it a different result. Um, but we we are we are counting with their support again. Uh, we know that we can count with them. To, to help us to be better and stronger in the next games. I'd like to say thanks.